Galo Galactic Family. Individual and Collective Ascension. Question Beloved Ones, I am in a phase of plunging deep into myself, listening to my heart and my higher self, and feeling that I am succeeding, for I have felt moments of deep peace, harmony with the Divine, unconditional love for myself, and much joy at being awakened in this incredible moment of planetary ascension. But a consequence of this focus on my ascension has been an almost total isolation of everyone around me, I feel like an urban nun in a home retreat, and I am happy that way. I love my friends and family, but I do not feel like spending time with them. I am not interested in their affairs, usually related to newspapers, complaints, pessimism, illnesses. I try to pass the wisdom of love and light, but they have no interest and often despise my positivism and optimism for the future. So I prefer to be alone at home with my cats, meditating, reading the messages of the masters and beings of light, and studying spirituality. It is when I feel attuned to the good, in peace, evolving. They accuse me of living in a bubble, because I do not watch television, I only participate in the world around me to go to work and I avoid socializing bar, ballad. My question is about the contradiction I sometimes feel, am I following my mission? In my meditations I feel unconditional love. I ask for love for humanity and for our beloved Gaia, I envision myself emanating love, but at the same time I am not interacting with the people I love and who love me. I feel that I follow my heart by isolating myself and focusing on improving myself, but I do not know if I am playing my part in the ascension of humanity as a whole. Gratitude for love and attention. Answer Beloved Daughter. Of all the teachings you have learned in your studies of spirituality, the most important of all, and of which you must never forget, is to listen to your heart. In the face of all the moments of doubt, of all discord that can be seen, with the eyes of matter, there is always the refuge of the heart, which is not influenced by matter and will always be its truth. Remain trusting in your truth the one who is speaking to you through your heart. And remember, dearest one, that the whole world around you is going through the same process as yours, but each person in due time, according to one's free will and ability. Therefore, my dear daughter, understand that everyone will at some point have to seek their own truth. While their pursuit does not initiate my darling, remain in peace in your own truth and happiness. You will not be able to follow the path of others, for each one has the rhythm that suits his individual search in this incarnation. You, my daughter, are fast-paced, for it was something you sought for yourself, something that has devoted effort. The same process will come to everyone, but do not expect understanding my dear. You will be ready to show them the way when they start on the same journey. Follow your truth and your way my dear, knowing that you are never alone, but supported by all the masters and all the spiritual guides that tune. Remain in that protection and presence of peace that we bring to you. As a loving father, I radiate my protection over you, my dear. Stay in peace. I am El Moria. The Inner Truth. Question Dear Masters. I have been expanding my connection with spirituality and I feel that I have grown and developed in many aspects. However, I often feel that something is missing and I have the feeling of being always a little lost, unduct. A few years ago I have had minor health problems, which, while not serious, make me very upset. In marriage, I also have many doubts I have a loving husband who respects me, but I often feel very bored in this relationship. When I think about separating myself from him, I'm very scared and I always decide to commit myself a little more, to invest more in the relationship to see if things improve. Professionally, 
I would very much like to work in the field of holistic therapy, and I am investing in this, but my difficulty is to assume more alternative techniques, which do not have social recognition. Thank you in advance for your guidance and for all the work done here. Answer my beloved sister. It needs to seek its authenticity, its truth. Life is not meant to live in appearances, in good behavior, to the point of giving up what we feel. Realize that at all points in your life, what you need to work on is relationships, they need to be worked on. I say that you are often subduing what resonates from your heart to the condition of the other, to the expectation that they place on you. And so he is always giving up his own authenticity, of what his heart says. But how can we help you, my sister, if you do not do it yourself, simply because you do not decide, not to anchor your own truth? What you need to work on is the authenticity of relationships, exposing your truth that will be anchored in strength and faith in God. Seek for that inner strength that carries within you and so expose the world to your truth by working and reviewing your relationships, so that they make it true to those who wish to assist you. From this inner truth, you will be modifying your life and making it more attuned to your real yearnings. I am El Moria. Doubt in Relationship Question Masters I've been married for 20 years. There are two. I do not feel the same love for my husband anymore. I am impatient, I feel that my time with him is over, but on the other hand, I am also afraid of being fooled by my feelings. To complete, a year ago, I fell in love with someone else. A platonic passion, without any level of interaction. But even five months without seeing this person, I still feel my heart light up every time I think about him. It's a real feeling. What's happening? What is the mission? Answer daughter. The real feeling can only be found by you, by no one else. Bring the relationship to your heart, see how it feels, loose or trapped. And then decide. Decisions in life are not always final. Give yourself the chance to make a mistake. And let life go as it should. If you make a mistake, remember that everything is fleeting, and that too will pass and be revised. So decide, be true and do what you decide. The whole universe will be supporting you. Stay in peace. I'm Confucius. I am a manifestation. Question well there is everyone. During 2016, and it still lasts until now, I have experienced and fortunately observed much judgment within me. In April I started a relationship with a man, and this relationship has been the ignition for this long and often painful process of working my judgments and accepting others as they are which I have not yet come to. Mirror experiences have been more than many and often come willing to give up this family experience, but something within me so far has held me steady. Within this context I have been able to observe myself, and become aware of various components of my ego, and my shadow side. The last mirror experience began by bringing me such a judgment, and then made a deep rage come from within. My question is about how to manage those emotions or feelings when they come. I realize that they come from the bottom possibly family heirlooms and slash or past life wounds and I know now that it is part of our way as incarnated beings, experiencing these things and purging them. But my question is, how? How? As I know that other people and experiences are just mirrors, keys of ignition, I know that they are not guilty and do not cause these emotions in us, so I am of the opinion, that we should not send on top of other people, that is, whatever is coming up. In order not to send over the others I suppress the expression of this anger, but they say that repressing is not positive either. In the latter case at the moment H, what I wanted was kicking everything, 
but I have nothing like a boxing bag here at home, and I have reservations about showing others such an attitude, as if I did not want to pass that example seems to incite violence. Anyway, I would like to hear what the masters have to convey to us from the center of their love. Gratitude. Answer daughter, anger, is the manifestation of a pain that you keep within you. It is a manifestation of pain, something that you have not yet found within you. All of us bring restlessness inside us, are like bodies of accumulated energy that cause us too much pain, restlessness, lack of serenity, and this energy that accumulates often overflows and releases to show us what we are doing with ourselves. If you look inside you will feel this restlessness, this lack of softness, the sturdy pain that brings you to the emotional explosion many times. And I tell you that this pain often becomes uncontrollable, as it reflects an explosion of Ian's guarded within. And it is through this phase that my daughter passes by at that moment, to take deep contact with her body of pain, which no longer supports so many accumulated emotions, tied within you. See this feeling, therefore, not as guilty, as a feeling of being minor or imperfect, but as a beautiful healing opportunity that is manifesting in your life. You have reached a point where you will no longer be able to live with all that energy that accumulates inside you, and that is precisely what will progressively bring you healing for what you want to quiet within you. The process of healing and purification is based on emotional triggers that lead to these feelings precisely because the burden has become unbearable within them. You can no longer carry that heavy burden that is within you and that will be the process that will lead to your inner healing. You will initiate this process of healing daughter, working the relationships that lead you to that feeling. And through these relationships you know which ones will be brought to healing. You see, from the pain you have, you will release these relationships that no longer add to you, but they cause you pain and this process will be the beginning of your own healing. We will be with you daughter, radiating you so that you have the necessary strength to release and transmute those relations that today cause you so much malaise. But deep down they reflect a pain that is within you and needs to be released. Trust daughter, in signs, they will progressively lead you to a liberation experience. Stay in peace. I'm Sarah Bay. Lots of family fights. Question I carry fear and solitude. I lost a boyfriend when I was 19 car accident after I got married. I was married for 14 years. I was unhappy and I separated. I had another partner for 8 years. I was very happy and he passed away. When my relationships end, I return to my mother's house. I've overhauled her whole house and she already gave me 50% of the property because of all the money I put into the house. I have always helped my brothers and one of my nieces. I have a sister that I always treated in a special way. I always treated her as a daughter and her daughter always treated me as my granddaughter. Since I had no children, this sister tries, in any way to harm me and steal me to the point of bringing suit against me with false accusations. Her intention is to revoke the donation my mother gave me. I held this sister and her daughter. He paid for his daughter's college. She is unemployed, ill-married and unhappy. And with plenty of free time to keep trying to harm me. I need the courage to start over. I dream of getting married again and finally having a home of my own and living happily with my new husband. I need guidance on how to treat this family situation and know where to walk to fulfill my dream. Answer Beloved Daughter The feeling of love is something that cannot be measured in material terms, or even that cultivates in us the need for return. 
all the help you have brought to your family has not been enough to pay off your debt to all the love you have received and the protection from all the comings and goings of your life, dearest beloved. All that he did for them was first of all to help yourself dearly, to feel good, and the retribution lies in that feeling that you had to fulfill and to be able to help. The cultivation of sorrow and anguish in your heart will not help change your life. You are in this experience to discover the true meaning of giving only love. And that is what you received, with hard pain, yes, daughter. But we masters know how difficult it was for their family members to remain under the conviviality of a person who was so imposing and hard on them. They all know that your feeling is of love, but the conviviality becomes difficult due to the feeling that you carry inside you, of dissatisfaction by the own life. Notice how much you have not been complete and true, in giving your help to others, my beloved. I know these words may seem harsh to you, but they are hard just because they touch your heart, at the point where you are here in this incarnation to heal. The love relationships all end with you returning to family life. And this is precisely because you are having the opportunity of this learning, which aims to conclude in this incarnation. Words can be burdensome, and you can also arouse the sense of discord within you, but this is because of the ego defense shield, which you have built over the years, because it holds all that feeling inside you. Release through anger yes. But know that we are here engaging you in all our love and peace leaving you certain that we are with you on this journey in search of the opening of your heart. I'm Mother Maria. Concern with the daughter. Question I have many doubts, I think sometimes that is not true, because God does not give the fish he teaches to fish. And another thing, there is a parable of Jesus that a man was in the desert, thirsty, he prayed to God and God sent an angel and the angel sensed that the man would rise and go for water. And the man wanted to go looking for water and found. And because he had faith in God, he thanked him. And if I did not have faith, I would not be grateful. God is a father of love. Thank you to Jesus for your teaching. Thank you, my father from heaven for all the beauty you created. Thank you for my children that the Lord entrusted me to create and educate, thank you very much. A big hug to my Father in Heaven and to Jesus our Brother and Our Lady, our Mother in Heaven. I ask for help to heal my daughter of fanaticism, as she dawns and dusk reading messages from the Galactic Federation. Just do it, help me, please. Thank you in advance. Good morning. Answer greetings daughter. I wanted to tell you that from everything we observe in the world, we still insist on having control of every situation, imposing our own perspective on everyone else. I tell you how simple it would be if we allowed each one to go his own way, how much suffering would be avoided if we did not insist on observing the life of anyone from our personal perspective. Every being that is experiencing life on the planet is free to make its choices, whatever they are, but the imposition of control, of what we have as the best, as the most correct, does not allow us to let go of the bonds of life, so that we can concern ourselves solely with our own happiness. The greatest help that a daughter will have is to learn to allow her daughter to follow her life, let her follow her destiny as she likes. And even if the path leads to suffering, it will be the destiny she has chosen and that will bring learning evolution. Humanity, daughter, goes through a process of disconnection with the old, and much of what you have learned as correct, as it is right, will be undone in the air. It will make a lot of what they believe is no longer the way they have learned, that you review, relearn, and then release evolution to expand. Do not worry too much about who you are, for as you worry your daughter is losing her own opportunity for evolution. Release the daughter, disconnect from suffering, from pain, 
from yearning, and release life to bring to you and your loved ones the flow of evolution. Be in peace. I'm Sarah Pispate.